Hello and welcome to Telegram Market, our daily program on Nifty, USDNR and Bank Nifty. Uh, I'll just wait for a couple of uh, minutes to make sure that we have enough uh, comments, we have enough people live, we have enough audience chats coming in, etc, etc, etc. Let me just see. I am not seeing any chats. I am not sure if we are live or we live yet. Maybe we are live. Yeah, it says we are live. Okay, we are live on both channels. Okay, perfect. How is my audio? I'm just trying to change a new mic setup. I've changed uh, the microphone from the external microphone to the computer's inbuilt microphone and trying to fiddle around with the decibel levels a little bit. Uh, it should fix it. Uh, hopefully, yes. What's the voice? Is voice okay? Can you please? Can somebody please confirm if the voice is fine? Because if it is it very low, audio problems it says very low. Okay, give me a second. Let me just switch it. Okay, how is the audio now? How is the audio now? Is it significantly better now? It's at full. Now I have put it at full. Voice is not okay. When you say it's not okay, what do you mean by it's not okay? Audio is good, little bit down, not so better. Voice is fluctuating. It's fluctuating a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna change my microphone. From okay, how about it? How how is it now? I changed it to a different microphone. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, so now I have realized that the inbuilt microphone of my computer is pretty bad. I also realized that the external microphone is much better, which is a Logitech camera microphone. Amit is saying it looks like it is coming from a well. Uh, Manish is asking, how is my short going? Bro, I have no short, I am not even trading this market. <laughs> but, uh, but, <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Rampal is asking Hindi mein Rampal, Sagar is doing a separate channel for you man you should check out Sagar's channel otherwise Sagar will be very very sad Maggie is going to start a crowdfunding campaign for my microphone <laughs> I think I should start a webinar for buying a new microphone right <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway so so let's get started right so nifty chart first of all yesterday it was a bearish engulfing it was hitting a uh, support so we talked about it that look everything looks bearish not a good time to enter the market despite support at 17,000 we said 16,800 to 17,000 is support supports can break <laughs> but wait for the price action at 6800 before next trade if 6800 holds long if uh, if it uh, if if it breaks 6800 short there is an FOMC minutes we might not need to trade if you want to be aggressive you can trade and sell 17100 calls but not big questions I don't think this worked out very well because market reversed today but let's look at today as what happened right so till yesterday market looked weak despite the potential support here 17,000 to 16,800 we said as a support zone long time back I think in the beginning of the week's analysis on Sunday afternoon there was a bearish engulfing but now there is again a reversal signal which is a bullish harami and bullish harami is formed at 200 DMA support so basically we have a zone of value and we have a candlestick pattern confirming the zone of value both of them are bullish so chart is looking bullish why because bullish harami on a support zone on a support signal so this is a support zone there is a 200 dma and there is a bullish harami all three of them put together are giving a bullish signal to market if you look at bank nifty also bank nifty had good healthy bullish volumes today and it is now testing the 50 dma from where it dipped again so both nifty and bank nifty are showing strength in the charts now because we are at the midweek let's see what the weekly chart is starting to look like interesting weekly chart has closed above uh, 50 wma and now it is a doji so weekly chart of nifty bank nifty also is showing uh, interesting turnaround so overall chart wise charts are looking very bullish right this is in this is different from what we talked about yesterday but it is very consistent with what we talked about at the beginning of the week right because yesterday's data was looking bearish we look at data when data says bearish we go bearish right uh, now let's look at open interest right so again it's a complete u-turn from yesterday because this is what it looked like yesterday right uh, it was looking very bearish <laughs> with a very low pcr of 0 0.5 but now it is looking very bullish 
with 17,000 forming a support, hardly any resistance is still say with 17,500 and PCR of 0.8. If you look at today's intraday activity, calls were add, subtracted from every strike above 17,000, puts were added at 17,000. So I don't think this is going to be a bad expiry. This is going to be a good expiry in the sense that positive expiry. Uh, and finally, going to FIA data, FIA has also have done a U-turn. This gap between red and green has reduced and that is because FIA bought 30k calls, sold 20k puts, bought 1000 uh, crore futures and chiller 500 crore stock they have sold. So net net, chart is looking bullish, um, option chain is looking bullish, PCR is looking bullish, FIA futures is looking bullish, FIA option is looking bullish, FIA stock data yaar 500 crore kya yaar, kuch nahi hai 500 crore. That is like uh, average MTM of 20 trainers, right? So, <laughs> so it looks like the market has done a U-turn after yesterday and 70,000 looks like a strong gaze with getting formed. So after the, but still I would say, ki look at the price action tomorrow because all said and done, there's, a risk, there's an event today, right? Although it doesn't look like a negative event to me, looking at the data at least. So risk reward is definitely favoring long. And if you see that 17,000 is holding, I would go uh, uh, bullish with 17,000 and below ka put selling with protection or I would even do call selling. So here's the thing right now I don't think it is a, uh, it is if, if market starts going up from here right, it would be lumbar movement, it won't be like chiller movement right because it is now consolidated quite a bit. If there is going to be an up move, I think it will be a significant up move probably 18,000 or above. We now know how fast it will come but it looks like market has consolidated quite a bit and it is going to break out above. If that is going to happen, then you should not ideally play with uh, limited profit strategies. If this is the time to go with good RR, right? So I won't do condors and all now because upside risk is real. So I would probably do buy calls or buy bull call spreads or bull put spreads, but I'd favor bull call spreads over bull put spread. So let me see what I'll do, right? So one. So I'll just compare two strategies straight away. A lot of uh, you have seen this before because this is something we regularly do. So one option is bull call spread, the other is a bull put spread, right? Now I'm going to favor bull call spread over bull put spread because bull call spread gives a 6,000 max profit, 4,000 max loss. Risk reward is uh, 3 to 2. Whereas this thing only gives 2.5 is to send up, this is 1 is to 3. So if I'm going to think that there is going to be an up move, a significant up move in market right i am not going to play it using instruments which give me pot small potential upside uh, and also obviously if my view is wrong there could be a big downfall so it's not a good idea to play it with this i would definitely play this or buy calls if i feel aggressive or even long futures with tight stop loss right so uh, no condors because i think upside uh, movement can be significant so bull call spreads uh, naked buy calls with risk management and bet sizing of course or even long futures is what I would do. Long, I, I think medium term, short term to medium term the market looks very strong and I think there is going to be a significant up move in the days to come. Like this could be wrong, it's wrong to predict the future uh, but this is just me telling my bias right now. So I think market has a bias towards bullishness right now. Immediate data indicates that tomorrow's expiry will be positive. Uh, so maybe market will be opening flat tomorrow after the FOMC minutes and then it can go up or it could even be a gap up opening with further uh, market, uh, for further up move, right? In any case, my favorite trades are bull call spreads or naked buy call or even long futures with tight SL. <laughs> So now because we are talking about futures, let's also look at some intraday levels because it's very crazy to time your entry, right? So look at this, right? There is a 50 DMA and 100 DMA both coinciding somewhere around here. If this level breaks and it gives you a decent support at this level, right? This is a very nice entry point to be long. Also, if you look at it, there's a, a downward sloping tiny channel here. Maybe on break of that, you can see some more up move. So I would I would be surprised if we see 17,500 uh, very shortly, which is where 200 hourly moving average is. Uh, I would not be surprised also because yeah, 200 DMA pay bullish harami banana is a very strong reversal signal, right? And look at the consolidation that has happened in this zone. 
it I, I mean 17500 is 50 dma and 200 hma i think we are probably going to test it it's it's wrong of me to say that according to our philosophy because i'm now i'm predicting but then here at some point you have to stick your neck out a little bit right and also data is saying that this can go up right so that is our read on this thing usd nr again boss i don't want to trade this thing i honestly don't want to trade this thing because this has now gone into some crazy territory it's best to not get into over a it's like this right so like like a friend of mine used to say in bombay here they go if you are waiting in uh, the other station for a uh, train to andheri uh, if the train is too crowded there's no point in getting it away. if the train has already left the platform there's no point running behind it you can stick around and another train will come it might be empty it might have enough time to i mean space to sit or stand or something okay sorry bombay no sitting stand unless you wait till midnight you are not sitting in bombay it's an unfortunate reality but anyway uh, right so uh, so there's no point in running behind a train which already has picked up steam right so probably dollar here wo gaya right at 79 and all it was a nice thing to enter chodo i mean if you been or you we were long time back we have been like long dollar since 74 uh, i think i i left myself my long dollar view at 80 should i have stayed for two more rupees but theek hai ab jo gaya wo gaya please don't short the dollar now because it's an overheated thing but if you want to trade dollar it is going to be very difficult to trade breakout things which have broken out uh to chase the momentum uh, without knowing where the exit is is very tricky so i would stay away from dollar nifty is much easier to trade right it has consolidated it's in a known zone dollar is in a completely unknown territory nobody knows where supports and resistances are here at this point so trade nifty trade bank nifty be very happy don't get into dollar i mean i wouldn't get into dollar right now right so this is my read on dollar all right so this is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow as usual no tips no investment advice nothing <laughs> I mean, I would also say कि you know I I wouldn't say please consult your investment advisor अगर उसको कुछ भी आता तो आप ये क्यों शो शो देखते हैं right so so anyway on that note I'll take your leave again uh, so see you guys tomorrow take care and keep your capital safe bye